I have here a case study on advertising practices within the engineering profession. More specifically, there's this engineering firm that specializes in airport design. They use two types of professional cards in a state society magazine. So the first card they used was just your standard professional card. It conformed to the general size and style of most other cards out there. And it also just had basic information like the name of the firm and the location. However, they also made a second card and this one was larger in size. They also added a promotional statement. The statement specifically said, airport design and layout planning is our specialty. We will fly in to meet with your commission or council anywhere in the 48 contiguous states. Now the issue we're dealing with here is, are these cards in compliance with the NSPE code of ethics. Now, the most relevant part of the code of ethics here would be under part three, professional obligations. Section three says engineers shall avoid all conduct or practice that deceives the public. Now, under section three A, it says that engineers shall avoid the use of statements containing a material misrepresentation of fact or omitting a material fact. So this is the updated code of ethics. It already sets out to restrict advertising, but the code of ethics during 19 1968 when this case happened, happened to have a ton of guidelines under making professional cards. So based off the fact that the two cards were not consistent in size, that already means that it should violate the code of ethics. But it also seems like with this new code of ethics, it does try to restrict advertising, which could possibly be a result of this case. So again, did the company actually violate these codes of ethics? And was the size of the cards wrong? And or was their promotion unethical? Well, the NSPE said that it did in fact violate the code of ethics. And here's why. The first card did align with the code of ethics. It provided essential and factual information, and the card's size was consistent with other cards from other companies. However, the second card was deemed unethical. It was larger than other cards, which they considered a form of advertising in promoting the firm. The statement provided and written on the card also had a promotional tone. It didn't strictly just provide factual information, but was also promoting their good services. Now, now, what do I think about this? Well, I agree. To begin my personal evaluation of this case study, I want to bring up the moral theory of utilitarianism. Utilitarianism is, of course, when you try to make the most amount of people happy as possible. You want to achieve the greatest overall happiness. Now, I think we can all agree here that engineers are very important people and they do a very important job. And the reason why they're so important to me is because so many lives depend on them. If an engineer doesn't do their job right, then they could potentially harm tons of people or put the safety of people's lives at risk just because they made a mistake. And because engineers are some of the most important people that need to ensure safety is number one priority, I believe trust and objectivity is super critical. You can't be an engineer and go lie about your facts or your data gathered on a project because ultimately your project won't end well. Engineers need to be held to a higher standard of trust because what they're doing is so important. So going back to utilitarianism here, because this company had misleading advertising or promotions, it might imply that their main focus is more on profit rather than the safety. Generally, a focus on profit over safety means that more people will get harmed and will suffer based off what your engineering firm is doing. We can see this with Boeing. They're a very for-profit company. However, if Boeing planes are malfunctioning, then their passengers inside are not going to be very happy, especially with the possibility of getting harmed. Therefore, with my utilitarian outlook on this case study, I agree with the NSPE's decision. Ultimately, I believe engineers should be held to the highest standard of trust and objectivity. Therefore, advertising and promoting potentially misleading information is a serious issue, justifying why I believe the NSPE's decision was the correct one. Finally, now that I've explained my general rationale and why I believe that the NSPE's decision was correct, I do want to critique one thing about it. The given was that the second card was obviously way larger than the first card, and since the sizes weren't consistent, it was violating the code of ethics. However, they also said the statement on the card was misleading or was misinformation. And at first, it took me a little while to understand why that was. Now, again, the statement in question is airport design and layout planning 
is our specialty. We will fly in to meet with your commission or council anywhere in the 48 contiguous states. Now, with this statement, I don't really think they're actually advertising or promoting anything, at least explicitly. When people read that statement, what's going to happen is if they're interested in whatever this engineering firm is doing, this statement is going to make it sound very easy for them to get the product or the service that they need. If a company tells you, hey, we'll go fly in and we'll do this, then it's most likely going to be one of your options because it's just more convenient to have them come to you rather than you go to them. Personally, I think that the NSPE should have clarified this better in the case study and when making their decision. So to summarize, the NSPE found in this case that having a second business card of a larger size and with a promotional tone is not ethical. And I agree with this decision because with a little bit of a utilitarian outlook on this scenario, I believe that it is an engineer's job to keep people happy and to keep people safe. And if they're advertising their engineering firm for profit and not strictly focusing on those two things, then I believe the engineering firm is being unethical.